This game is part of a series of games available from the cooperation between pre-service mathematics teachers at Grand Valley State University and the GVSU Regional Math and Science Center. To participate in this game, you will need four dice, the roly-poly Operation Oli score sheet, and something to write with. The object of the game is to score the most points by filling in as many boxes in the three columns as possible, while avoiding penalty points. Each player takes a score sheet and something to write with. Before playing, it's important to understand one basic rule, which is that numbers must be filled in from top to bottom in each of the columns. If you choose to skip any boxes, they cannot be filled out afterward. The first person to roll a six will take on the role of the active player. The score sheet has three columns, one up column in which the values that you will fill in the box will be in increasing order, one down column in which the values that you will fill in the box will be in decreasing order, and one choice column in which you are able to choose whether you want an increasing or decreasing column. In the sixth row of the columns, there is a 12 that's already filled in. In order to fill in any boxes past the 12, you must fill in the 12. Lastly, in the last row of the columns, there's a lock symbol. In order to lock a row, you must have filled in at least six boxes and rolled either the attached 36 or zero. The operation column is a place for you to write the operation that you computed in order to derive the number in the box. Similarly to quicks, there are penalty boxes, which must be crossed out if, after the two actions, the active player doesn't fill out a box of at least one number. Each penalty box is worth negative five points at the end of the game. The non-active players do not take a penalty if they choose not to cross out a number. The active player would then roll all four dice. They now have two play options. One, the active player announces the first two dice that were rolled. All players may then, but are not required to, use any operation in order to combine the two dice to find a value that they can fill out in one of their columns. Two, the active player, but not the other players, may then, but it's not required to, take one of the other dice together with one of the first rolled dice and combine them using any operation in order to fill in a box with the number corresponding to this found value in one of their columns. Once all players are ready, the player to the left becomes a new active player and re-rolls all four dice. Then the two actions described are carried out again, one after the other. For example, Grace is the active player. The first two dice show a four and a one. Grace announces these two numbers and thinks about the options for values that she could fill in. She will fill in a three on her score sheet and write the corresponding operation in her up column. Four minus one equals three on the operation line next to the box she filled in. Matthew chooses to fill in the five since he already had a number lower than five in his up column and also fills in the corresponding operation. Four plus one equals five. Grace rolls the other two dice. These show a six and a three. She thinks about the operations for values that she could fill in when she pairs one of these dice with the four or the one from the first two rolled dice. She decides to fill in 24 on her down column and writes the corresponding operation next to it. Four times six equals 24. If you wish to cross out the number at the very bottom of a column, up 36, down would be 0, and the choice would either be 0 or 36, you must have first filled in at least 6 numbers in that column above, including the 12. If you cross out the number on the bottom, then also cross off the lock symbol directly below it. This indicates the column is now locked for all players, and numbers of this column cannot be crossed out in the future rounds. If a column is locked during the first action, it is possible that other players may, at the same time, also cross out the number on the bottom of the column and lock the same column. These players must also have previously filled in at least six numbers in that column. Also, the cross in the lock counts toward the total number of crosses marked in that column when you are scoring. The game ends immediately as soon as either someone has marked a cross in their fourth penalty box or as soon as two columns have been locked. Beneath the three columns is a table indicating how many points are awarded 
for how many crosses within each column, including any locks marked with a cross. Each crossed out penalty is worth minus five points. Enter your points for the three columns and the minus points for any penalties in the appropriate fields at the bottom of the score sheet. The player with the highest total score is the winner. Thank you for watching this instructional video on Roly Poly Operationally, and I hope you enjoy playing.